What's up everyone and welcome to the five part finale of Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke or at least I hope this is the five part finale because we are taking on the Pokemon League starting today and I say hopefully because as you guys may know this is a Nuzlocke which means if at any point during this Elite Four Pokemon League challenge one of our Pokemon dies they are dead forever, and we can't use them throughout the rest of the run, so you never know what's going to happen. I am super excited, though, because this is the first time in any of my Nuzlocke's where I have made it this far. Previously to this, in Sacred Gold, I made it to the 6th gym a little bit after that, so basically right before the 7th gym, and I lost there. And then in Pokemon Volt White, we barely made it to the second gym or past it and then I lost so this is the farthest I've ever gotten here in Pokemon Emerald and I am super excited so today we are starting off with the Elite Four Sydney but before we do be sure to leave a like if you are excited and I'm not sure how I'm gonna post these because like I said at any point any of our Pokemon could die so I'm just gonna post one Elite Four or do one Elite Four per episode rather, but I don't know how many episodes I'm going to post a day. Hopefully if we make it far enough, all of these videos will be recorded at the same time though, so leave a like down below, and if this video can hit like a thousand likes, then I'll just upload the next part, and then that'll keep happening until all of the parts are up, and then the champion for sure though will go up on like Wednesday, so I think you're going to be seeing this video on Tuesday if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, let's get on to it. You may have seen the training montage at the beginning, or just there, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing, but let's check out the team right now after that intense training that has happened in between episodes. We've got the lead, the starter, Kong Pao the Blaziken, he's made it all the way through. He is one of the original six Pokemon that never died, and we actually did it. I said I would keep Blaziken alive no matter what, that our starter would survive the entire playthrough. And he did. So Kung Pao the Blaziken. I went ahead and got the charcoal. You can get that in Lava Ridge City. Talk to an old guy in the herb shop and he can give you that. So that'll be good for our flamethrower. Now, may seem kind of weird because he's got way better uh, physical attacks. So flamethrower is not going to be that good. But in this game, it doesn't matter if he had flamethrower or blaze kick because they have... They're both special moves nonetheless, so basically he's got bulk up here, which will help us boost our attack and defense. That's for Brick Break and Earthquake, and then in case we have to use Flamethrower, then I've got the Charcoal there. So basically, it guarantees that no matter if he's using physical or special attack, hopefully our attacks do about the same damage. But that's Kung Pao, ready to go, beats the x -Plowed, the other of the original six Pokemon that I caught, I think. For a while, I didn't think he was part of it because I left him in the daycare and I kind of forgot about him. But he is, I think, one of... I don't know if he's one of the originals, but I know that he is also an early Pokemon we got. And he never died. We got him all the way early on in the Rustboro Tunnel, which is like the only Pokemon you can find there. But he's got Hyper Beam, gave him that over the strength that he had before. And I also use a PP Max on that, so you'll see it's got 8 PP instead of 5. Because, you know, you gotta have as much PP as you can before taking on any Pokemon League. Solar Beam, Ice Beam, and Shadow Ball wrap up his moveset though. The Shadow Ball I have a feeling is going to be super helpful, especially against Phoebe because she uses Ghost Pokemon and Beats can sit there laugh in their face because they can't hit normal types and then use his own Shadow Ball. And he's got a really good uh, physical and special attack so hopefully you know both of those are good. I think normal is physical hitting and Ghost is also physical hitting but yeah, he's got a slightly better special attack. Either way, that Solar Beam and Ice Beam are special, so overall, I think Beats is going to be really, really strong in this Elite Four and Champion battles. Ultron, the Bayonet, I think might be one of the newest additions to the team. Well, I say that and all of the Pokemon aside from those two are kind of new additions, because those are the only two that survived almost throughout the whole playthrough. But Ultron, the Bayonet, we got him in our need of a desperate time to beat Tate and Liza. He did an awesome job, managed to just obliterate Tay and Liza. Now he's got Shadow Ball, Screech, Will-O-Wisp, and Psychic, so really nothing changed, just gained levels, but I did give him Psychic at the very end of the last episode, so that's his new move. Moving on, Raiden the Electrode. We got him in new Mauville when we needed someone to help us defeat Winona, and he did that and more. He stuck around since then and stayed a really good member of the team. Now he's got Thunder. As his new attack, I got that from the Lily Cove department store. By the way, the flamethrower on Blaziken, that thing was hard to get because I just had to waste all my money in the game corner at Mauville. It was kind of hard. 
But anyway, he's got Thunder now, so that should be better. I was actually looking at his stats, and I was like, what the heck? He does not have very good attack or special attack, and his defenses are kind of mediocre. But then I saw his speed, and I was like, holy moly, 180 speed. This guy is so fast. Definitely worth the Thunder God status. He's as fast as lightning. Let's just say that. Why the heck not? But he's also got the magnet, which you can get from the trick house. So I did end up doing all of the trick house challenges. The magnet is like the second to last thing that you get. So took a while to do it, but we did get that magnet. Um, I think I also have some new items. Oh yeah, I had a new item on Ultron and that is the focus band. I don't know where I got that, but just in case something happens at Phoebe and he ends up getting one shot killed, that focus band might keep us alive with one hit. Next up though, the newest member of the team, Stratus the Altaria. I said I would train her up, our only female member I think. Oh no, Atlantic is also a female, so now our team is kind of balanced, because before, literally our entire team was dudes, but now we got two girls on the team, so that's awesome, but Stratus is the first one of those two, and I did do the training to her, uh, now at level 54, and overall really good stats. I think he, she's the second highest level now up there with Kung Pao, but Dragon Claw, Safeguard, Dragon Breath, and Fly are her attacks. I think Safeguard might be okay against certain Elite Four members. I don't think we're really going to have any trouble against Sydney, which is why I'm dragging this out, showing off the entire team before we head on in here, because who knows, we might actually just lose against Sydney. You never really know. I, at least I don't know. I've been surprised before, so I wouldn't be surprised if I was surprised again, but Dragon in this generation, uh, all dragon moves are special, so he had Dragon Dance at one point, or she had Dragon Dance, but I deleted that for Safeguard, because Dragon Dance would be almost useless, uh, like half of it would be useless, it would power up our attack and speed, our speed boost would be good, but she's already got a decent enough speed, and really good special defense and defense, she's actually a really good defensive Pokemon, I didn't even realize that, but wrapping up the team is the big bad Waylord Atlantic, bigger than the ocean itself, with the Mystic Water, almost the same special and physical attack, I did not know that, but of course he does have uh, most of our water power here, actually all of his attacks are going to be hitting um, special, unless, I don't know if hidden power counts as like hitting the type that the hidden power is, or just normal, but either way, his hidden power is actually grass, I figured that out from battling and training up, so surf and ice beam and waterfall and hidden power grass, I could have something better than waterfall, but I really can't find any good moves for Waylord. He could have had Water Spout, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. We can have Surf and Waterfall, and we'll probably be fine. And then Ice Beam, I taught that to him, just in case we need something against Drake, if we make it that far, because I have a feeling that Drake will be our toughest challenge. But now with Altaria, Beats, and Atlantic, all-knowing moves that can take out Dragon types, I think we will be fine. And then every other Elite Four member, we've kind of got an answer for. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you are excited, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, do whatever you want. Yell at the top of your lungs, wake up your grandma and tell her, Hey, this dude's about to take on the Pokemon League and the Nuzlocke. And if they're like, what's a Nuzlocke, Sonny? Is that like a new Pokemon? Be like, no, grandma, it ain't no Pokemon. It's hardcore. And that's it, that's all you say to your grandma. Alright, now, as far as items go, I have pretty much stocked myself up like this is a zombie apocalypse, full restores, hyper potions, full heals, all the way, bunch of ethers and PPs. We have to use these three rare candies though, I can't just leave my boys hanging, so who will they go to? One of them will definitely go to Kung Pao, cause he has got to lead the party, he's our starter, and Stratus was somehow higher level than him, so Kung Pao, you are now the alpha male once again, you are leading the party with a... Nice, uh, I don't know what to say really, but Raiden and Atlantic are kind of falling off. I don't know if I want to give them the rare candies though, so I don't think it'll help them that much. So Beats, you are going to get one, and finally, the final rare candy will go to Raiden or Atlantic, or Ultron. Let's just give it to Ultron, why the heck not? So everyone is at 54, and then Raiden and Atlantic are at 52. I don't think... I don't know what we'll do against Wallace. If we can even make it there, I'll already be happy enough with that. But then again, if we do make it to Wallace, you kind of have to beat the whole thing, you know? You can't just get to Wallace and then give up. So, let's go! Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth! That didn't really fit to the tune of the song, but you know what? It was good enough. So here we are. We have entered the Pokemon League. There is no turning back, even if we try to. 
We can't. We literally can't turn back. So we've got to go head on. Apply directly to Sydney's forehead. Here he is. You got a lot of space to work with there. He's got quite a massive forehead. You can even apply some all over his head, really, because he's bald. So he is a dark type trainer. I don't know what he leads off with, but I am just going to go with Kung Pao because I know it's at least going to be a dark type. So we will be fine. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. All right, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Sydney, you make some weird noises, bro. What was up with that? I like your hair, though. I like your style. Let's go and battle it out. Sydney, Australia. That's a place. That's not a dude. This guy is probably not named after Sydney, Australia, but that's the only Sydney I know. I don't think I've ever met a person with the actual name Sydney. But anyway, he is going to lead off with Mighty Anna. We could try and go for bulk ups here. That raises our attack and defense. I actually really like bulk up. It's one of my favorite moves just because it looks funny. It's like, oh, look at that. He's bulking up. Take that. Now I'm all bulked up, bro. What are you going to do to me? You can't hurt me if I'm bulked up. The weird thing about dark types in this game is a lot of dark types, they have, they tend to have better like physical power, but dark in this game and this generation actually is special. Same thing with ghost Pokemon. Ghost Pokemon tend to be more physical or special attack oriented, but ghost attacks themselves are physical. So that's why Bayonet is so good. I never knew that Bayonet was so good, but man, is he good. So next Pokemon for Sydney is going to be Shiftry. So far, not looking very Australian, bro. I mean, I don't know much about Australia, but Tengus, Tengus are Japanese, not Australian. Sydney, you got to get with it. You got to have like, is there a koala Pokemon? I don't even know if there is a koala Pokemon. Spinda's is Spinda's a panda. That's also Japanese. I mean, wait, no, pandas are Chinese. I don't know. I'm confusing myself now. Let's stop this. Two Pokemon down already, though, which means we are off to a great start. Honestly, I didn't really expect Sydney to put up much of a fight. So we're just going to keep going with the Kung Pao train. That is until we missed. He did get off a sand attack, which I was kind of worried about because... You know, we could always miss. He did throw up that sand attack, but it's fine. Absol's just going to play around with his swords, not actually fight us with them. So guess what, buddy? You dead. Dancing around. That's not going to work. You can't just dance. I bulked up. You just danced. And that's not the way you win here. Next up, though, is Crawdon. Now, I could be risky and stay in with Kung Pao there, but honestly, why the heck would we risk anything here in the Pokemon League? Let's just go the safe way out and go for Raiden. At level 52, we're four levels higher than this guy's Pokemon. And I know that might seem like a little bit overkill for how much training I did, but I have a feeling that once we get to Drake and Wallace, things will just go terribly, terribly south, is what I said in one episode, and I never knew what it meant, so I still don't know what it really means, but you know what? All I'm saying is things are gonna go downhill once we start getting to those later members, because I think at least Wallace's Pokemon get almost up to level 60, so we might have some trouble there. Now, Cacturn is Sydney's final Pokemon. Maybe now he's stepping it up. I'm sure there's some cactuses in Sydney, or at least near it. Isn't Sydney like... Uh, I don't know much about Sydney. I want to go visit Australia one day, okay? That's what I'm trying to say, but we just swept through his team. No damage was even dealt that day. Well, how do you like that? I lost. <laughs> It was fun, so it doesn't matter. You just got swept by a little boy. How is that everything that you have to say? You need to have something more to say, Sydney, because that was just despicable, and I ain't talking about me. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now, go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. All right, Sydney, just be sure not to fall off here. This seems kind of like a safety hazard. I don't know if those are pillars or holes. I'm assuming they're holes and they lead down into the deep darkness. So don't fall off the edge. Don't be like happy feet. They like to dance and I know your Absol likes to dance too. So just, just don't get too close to the edge because you might get pushed. But we have done it guys. We defeated the first Elite Four member. So like I said, if you would like to see the next one, which is going to be Phoebe, the ghost type user. I'm a little bit scared about this one. Mostly because she uses ghosts and they're kind of spooky, but Phoebe will still come later today, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Leave a like again if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode.